so there is social interaction right from the beginning, but for the point of simplification you might say, well first the child organizes themselves into a functional unity under the pressure of social dynamics and then they get unified enough so that they can attain unity with another child by setting up a fictional world and cooperating and competing within that because that's quite interesting too, eh? because you know, people often juxtapose cooperation and competition as if they're opposites but that, they're not opposites at all, another Piagetian observation so you say, well is hockey a competitive game? and people would say, well yeah, but then you think, well really? really? no one brings a basketball Right? So, we're going to play by the rules, that's cooperation, well, are the teams competing against each other? Well, yes, but they agree to compete within a particular landscape, and they all cooperate to maintain that landscape And so, you do the same thing when you're playing Monopoly, it's like you're trying to win, but at the same time you're cooperating And that's what, that's, that's society, man, that's society right there, you're cooperating, that's the big enclosure, and within that there are regulated competitions but to separate those artificially and say, well, one's com competition and the other's cooperation is just it's, just... it's just not very smart, it's not observant, that isn't how it works and, and games are intensely cooperative, even if they're intensely competitive I mean, the hockey teams are playing the same game, that's the cooperation, then each team there's co competition within the team to be the best player, let's say, but everyone wants that because everyone wants good players to emerge, but you still cooperate like mad with your teammates, and if you don't pass and, and you know, play like a reasonable person, then they're going to not be happy with you and so even within that competition, cooperation is regulating the interactions and then you can think, this is a really good thing to think too, it's like, you know, people often say to their kids doesn't matter whether you win or lose, it's how you play the game and the kid, of course, has no idea what that means it's like, what do you mean? Ah, I'm trying to win and the parent says, no, no, it matters how you play and the kid pushes them and the parents really can't come up with a good explanation of why that's the case they might say, well, other kids won't play with you if you... oh, there you go! because you could say... this is something to think about, so... there's a game and there's a victory within the game but then there's the set of all games and there's victory across the set of all games and the victory that you attain across the set of all games isn't winning all the games it's being invited to play all the games 